So yesterday, Apple dropped the very first beta for iOS 18.2 that came with a whole suite of new Apple intelligence features. And finally, one that we've been waiting on, visual intelligence, specifically if you have that new iPhone 16 device with the camera control. So I wanna take a quick second to show you how it works and not only how it works, but actually how good and fast it does operate. Let's jump right into it. So if you guys saw our prior video in regards to the first look at 18.2 beta one, there was a new splash screen for eligible iPhones. So currently right now, the only 16s are available. Um, and it gave you a new walkthrough of how to activate camera control for visual intelligence. And what that is, instead of just a quick press like it currently is to activate the camera, it is actually going to be a long hold press and you can see the new animation and this kicks in that new interface. What's kind of confusing, you don't have any camera controls on screen for kind of focus or zoom. You do have to currently use the button to zoom in and out. And I will say the quality still looks a little bit confusing and concerning on here. Um, but again, this is a first beta. It will get tweaked along the way. And not only is this a first beta, but it is one that will not be released for a number of months still. But for now, as you can see here, we got our AirPods Pros 2. And what you can do here, you can either take a picture with the camera button. And when you do that, you can actually ask it questions about this. And you can see it says working. And this is telling you it's likely a pair, a case for a pair of wireless earbuds, likely Apple's AirPods. You can follow up down below with a question for chat GPT, report a concern, or close it out. If you close it out, you'll brought back right to your camera. Let's take that picture again. And instead of doing ask now, you can do search. And if you hit search, it pulls up a reverse image search for Google. And you can not only get search themes for AirPods, AirPod Pros, or a different term for Apple AirPods Pros, but it actually shows you where you can purchase these items at, even if you wanted to. And if you want to go to OfferUp, it will pull up the browser link right here for you. And you can make your purchase right in that, basically. Now, if you don't want to do any of this, and you don't want to take the photo first, you technically don't need to do that. You can simply hit the image search right here and it'll pull it up. And then you're just free to go to exit out. Let's put this anchor charger in here. And let me just take another photo. And you can see it found this is the anchor mag go power bank. And again, if you want to just scan it this way, it actually didn't find this, which is interesting, but you can follow it up easily with a prompt if you so wish and say, what is this in frame and send it. And it just won't find something. So this might get better in time, but currently you can see how it is. It's still not going to be perfect as it is though. That's as simple and limited as this interface is for Apple intelligence for visual intelligence. Now, you should be able to take pictures and look at different restaurants or stores and get a uh, hours of operation menus and all that, which could be very neat in the near future if you so choose to use something like that. Uh, I'm very interested to see how this is gonna work. Basically somewhat of a built-in Google lens. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Quick, easy uh, feature run through for 18.2. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.